Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about involute. An involute is a curve traced by a point on a perfectly flexible thread while unwinding from a circle or a polygon. The thread being kept tight. Let me see the problem number one. Draw the involute of an equilateral triangle of side 2D and draw a normal and tangent at a distance 60 from the center of triangle. Draw an equilateral triangle. The side distance is 20 mm. After drawing the triangle, you will locate the fixed point in the right corner. Then you locate the remaining corner points 1, 2, 3. Then you will be draw an extension line from the point 1 and the next point 2. Next point 3, draw an extension line. Now one as a center and one piece radius, you draw a circle from the point up to the extension line of 1. You will be get P1. Next two as center and two P1 is a radius, you draw a arc from the point P1 up to the extension line of P2. You will be get P2. The next three as a center, three P2 as a radius. You will be draw a arc from the P2 up to the extension line of P3. You will be get P3. This is an involute curve on equilateral triangle. Same problem we are going to draw by another one method. You draw a equilateral triangle. The side is 20 mm. Then you locate the P point on the right corner. Remaining points you locate it. After that from the P point you draw a straight line. The straight line length is equal to 60 mm that means 3 into 20 then you divide the straight line into equally three parts p2 1 dash the distance is 20 next you take another 20 that is 2 dash then finally you will be get 3 dash then you draw the extension line from point 1 point 2 and 3 extension line already is there now you measure the distance between p2 1 dash 1 as a center and you locate the point p1 P2 2 dash is the radius and 2 as center you will be locate the point P2. The next P2 3 dash is the radius and we will be locate the point on the third point extension line you will be get P3. Finally you will be joined all the points from the starting point P1 you will be get the smooth involute curve you will be get. In the same problem, we are going to discuss how to draw a normal and tangent also. Draw a normal and tangent at a distance 60 mm from the center of the triangle. First, we will be locate the center of the triangle. The center of the triangle, the point is O. Next, you take your canvas. O is the center and 60 mm is the radius. You draw a arc on the involute curve. The intersecting point is M. Now you join P and M and extend the line. This is a normal line. Next you draw a perpendicular line to normal. That is a tangent line T T dash. Next the problem number 2. Draw the involute a square of side 15 mm. First will be draw a square. The side is 15 mm. Then you locate the point P in the right corner and the remaining corner points you note it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you draw an extension line from each point on the corner of the square 1 and 2 extension line, 3 extension and 4 extension line. Now 1 as a center and 1 piece the radius you draw an arc from the P point up to the extension line of 1. You will be get P1. Then 2 as a center, 2 P1 is a radius, you draw a arc from the point P1 up to the extension line of 2, you will be get P2. The next uh, 3 as a center and 3 P2 is a radius, you draw a arc from the P2 up to the extension line of 3, that point is P3. Then finally 4 as center and 4 P3 as a radius, you draw a arc from the point P3 up to the extension line of 4th point, you will be get P4. This is an involute curve on this square. And the same problem you can draw by another method also. 
you locate the point P, then remaining points you note it. Then from the point P you draw a straight line. The length of the straight line is 4 into 15. That means 60 mm. Then you divide the straight line into equally 4 parts. After dividing the line, you will be draw an extension line from each corner. Then you measure the distance from the point P to 1 dash as a radius and 1 as a center. You locate the point P1 on the extension line of 1. Next P2 2 dash is a radius and 2 as a center. You locate the point P2 in the second point extension line. Then P2 3 dash is a radius and 3 as center. You locate the point P3 on the third point extension line. Then P2 4 dash as a radius. You will locate the point on the fourth point extension line. You will get P4. Finally, by freehand sketch, you will be connect all the points. You will be get the involute curve on square. Next, problem number 3. Draw the involute a regular hexagon of side 20 mm. First, we will be draw a regular hexagon. The side is 20 mm. Then, you will be locate the point P in the right side corner. Remaining points you note it 1, 2. Then you will be draw the extension line of the point 1 first. The next point 2 extension line. Point 3 you extend it. Point 4 you extend the line. 5 and finally 6. Now you measure the distance between 1 to P. That means 20 mm is the radius. And 1 as a center you draw an arc from the P point up to the extension line of 1. That point is P1. The next 2 as center and 2 P1 is a radius. You will be draw the arc from the point P1 up to the extension line of 2. You will be get P2. The next 3 as center and 3 P2 is a radius. You will be draw the arc up to the extension line of 3. You will be get P3. Next 4 as center, 4 P3 as a radius. You will be draw the arc from the point P3 up to the extension line of 4. That point is P4. The next 5 as center, 5 P4 as a radius, you will be draw the arc from the point P4 up to the extension line of 5, you will be get P5. Then finally, 6 as a center and 6 P5 is a radius, you draw a arc up to the extension line of 6, you will be get P6. And the same problem we can draw by another method. The hexagon side is 20 mm. And you locate the point P and the remaining points 1 to 6 also you note it. Then from the point P you draw a straight line. The straight line length is equal to 6 into 20. That means 120 mm. Then you divide the straight line into equally 6 parts. After dividing the straight line into equally 6 parts, then you will be draw the extension line from the each corner. Second point extension, the next third point extension and 4, 5 and 6 point extension line is already we drawn here. The next you measure the distance between P2 1 dash, 1 as a center and you locate the point P1 on the extension line of 1. Next P2 2 dash is a radius, 2 as center you will be locate the point P2 on the second point extension line. Then P2 3 dash as a radius, 3 is a center, you locate the point P3. Then P2 4 dash as a radius, 4 is a center, you locate the point P4. The next P2 5 dash is a radius, 5 is a center, you locate the point P5 on the fifth point extension line. The next P2 6 dash is the radius, you locate the point on the sixth point extension line, you will be get P6 here. Then finally, you will be joined all the points by freehand sketch. You will be get the involute curve on the hexagon. In this problem, we are going to discuss about how to draw a normal and tangent to the curve at a distance 100 mm from the center of the hexagon. First, you will be locate the center of the hexagon. 1 is the center and 1 to 6 is the radius. You draw the arc on the above line. The next same distance, 6 as the center 
and six one is a radius you intersecting the arc you will be get the center of the hexagon now you take the canvas o as center and 100 mm is a radius you will be draw the arc on the involute curve the intersecting point is m now you join phi and m you joined it and extend the line this is a normal line then we will be draw a tangent line uh, through the point m it is perpendicular to normal line the line name is dt dash next problem number 4 draw the involute a regular pentagon of side 20 mm first we will be draw a pentagon the side is 20 mm then you locate the point p on the right corner remaining points will be located in the clockwise direction then we will be draw the extension line of the each point of the pentagon next step one as a center and one piece a radius you will be draw the arc from the p point up to the extension line of one you will be get the point p1 next two as a center and two p1 is a radius you will be draw the arc from the point p1 up to the extension line of second point extension line you will be get p2 next 3 as a center and 3 P2 is the radius. You will be draw the arc from the point P2 up to the extension line of third point extension line. You will be get P3. The next 4 as a center and 4 P3 is the radius. You will be draw the arc. The arc is intersecting on the fourth point extension line that is P4. Next 5 as a center, 5 P4 is the radius. You will be draw the arc from the point P4. You will be get the point P5. This is an involute curve on this pentagon. Same problem we can draw by another method. The side is 20 mm and you locate the point P here in the right corner and the remaining points will be located in the clockwise direction. Then from the point P you draw a straight line. The straight line length is equal to 5 into 20 that means 100 mm. Then you divide the straight line into equally 5 parts. After dividing the straight line into equally 5 parts, we will be draw the extension line from each corner of this pentagon. First point extension line, next 2, 3, 4 and 5 already is there. Then you measure the distance between P2 1 dash is the radius, 1 as a center, you will be locate the point P1 in the extension line of 1. Then P2 2 dash is the radius, you will be locate the point P2 in the extension line of 2. Then P2 3 dash is the radius, 3 as a center, you will be locate the point P3 on the extension line of 3. P2 4 dash as a radius, 4 is the center, you will be locate the point P4. Then P2 5 dash as a radius, you will be locate the point on the 5th point extension line, you will be get P5 at the end of this straight line. Then finally you will be joined all the points by freehand sketch, you will be get the involute curve on this pentagon then draw a tangent and the normal to the curve at a distance 85 mm from the center of this pentagon so first we will be locate the center of the pentagon from the point 1 you draw a perpendicular line to the opposite line and next from the point 2 you will be draw a perpendicular line to the opposite line of 4 5 the two lines are intersecting that point is center of the pentagon now O as a center and 85 mm is the radius, you will be draw the arc on the involute curve. The intersecting point is M. Then you join 4 and M, you join and extend the line, this is a normal line. Then you will be draw the tangent line uh, through the point M perpendicularly to the normal line, you will be get tangent line that name is TT dash. Next problem number 5. Draw the involute circle of 40 diameter. Also draw a tangent and a normal to the curve at a point 95 from the center of the circle. First you will draw a circle. The circle diameter is 20 mm. The next, the center of the point O, you just draw a one vertical line. That contact point you noted, fixed point P is here. Then from the fixed point P, you draw a straight line. The straight line means that is the circumference of the circle. The circumference of the circle formula you know that pi d 
pi d is equal to pi into 40, you will be get 125.6 mm. From the point P, you take 125.6 mm and you locate the point A. Now P A is equal to 125.6, that means the circle circumference length. Then you divide the circle into equally 8 parts. Locate the point 1 to 8 in the clockwise direction. Then you divide the straight line of PA also equally into 8 parts by line dividing method. Locate the point on the PA line. After dividing the straight line equally into 8 parts, then you will be draw a tangent line from the point 1. Next, you draw a tangent line from the point 2. Next, from the point 3, the line is perpendicular to O3. The next, you draw a tangent line from the point 4 and 5 tangent line you draw it. And from the point 6, you draw a tangent line. From the point 7, you draw a tangent line. Then you measure the distance between P2 and dash. P2 1 dash as radius, 1 is the center, you will locate the point P1 on the tangent line of 1. Then P2 2 dash is the radius, 2 as center, you locate the point P2 on the second point tangent line. Then P2 3 dash is the radius, 3 as center, you locate the point P3 on the third point tangent line. Similarly, you will be locate the remaining points also. Finally, you will be joined all the points by freehand sketch P2, P1, P1 to P2, P2 to P3 and you will be join the remaining points. You will be get the involute curve on this circle. Next, we are going to draw a normal and tangent from the center of the circle at a distance of 95 mm. From the point O, you take 95 mm distance as a radius, you draw an arc on the involute curve. The intersecting point is M. Now you joined O and M, you joined it. Then you locate the midpoint of this line OM. That point is O1. Now O1 as center and O1M is a radius, you draw a semicircle. The semicircle, it is intersecting on our circle. The intersecting point, you note it, that is a point N. Then you joined N and M, you joined and extend the line. This is a normal line. Then you draw a tangent line. This tangent line is perpendicular to, uh, to the normal line. The tangent line name you located TT dash.